Okay lang. Yan lang yung pag-araw, gantong araw, diba, pag-December. Palasak na yung salatang Christmas, diba, Pasko. At uh, nagiging ano yan, debatable na bagay na bakit kailangan na December, magkaroon tayo ng gantong mga celebration. No? At al alam na natin yung history ng, ano, eh, ng Christmas, bakit may Christmas, sino ang nag... Uh, kasi ang, 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 ang Roman Catholic Church talaga yung kanilang celebration ng Christmas ay nagmula sa, sa pag-anong ano, practices. Ngayon, sa Bible naman, eh, ito ay ginagamit ating uh, oportunidad upang maipaalam sa mga tao na isang araw ay mayroong isang tagapagligtas na uh, pinanganak no? upang abutin ng ating kalagayan. Sabi nga ng Book of Romans na He that uh, regarded the day unto the Lord, regarded it unto the Lord. Baga, pag, ang, kung ang araw po ay yung ibinibigay para sa Panginoon, ito ibinibigay mo para sa Panginoon. Ito inaari mong Ito yung inaari ko para sa Panginoon, para sa Panginoon yun. Because where, 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 where is the Spirit of the Lord is, sabi ng Bible, there is liberty. Kaya di ba, pag pinag-usapin yung Christmas, parang merong mer mer thrill sa, sa yung soul. Because Christmas is, is about Jesus Christ. Di ba, kaya pag dumating yung December, oh, pag, pag kami mga kantang mga about <coughs> sa Christmas, caroling, ganyan, iba yung dating sa iyo. Kasi naroon yung spirit ng Panginoon. Diba? Ang, ang, ang itinataas, yung sa inyo. Diba? So ngayon, ating pag-aaralan natin hanguin sa aklat ng Lucas at saka sa aklat ng Acts. No? Book of Luke, chapter 2, uh, verses uh, 8 hanggang 20. And uh, Acts, chapter 4, verses 8 hanggang 20 rin. Ating, eh, ating uh, observe, no, yung yung mga ginagamit na mga talata sa Lucas at saka sa Book of Acts chapter 4 ay mayroong mga salita doon na nagkakapareho sila ng, ng team. Okay? At uh, we believe that, the day, that this day is the, that the Lord has made, ba? Amen. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's read the Book of Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 4. And and uh, uh, eight, uh, pa pa pa. and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping what's over the, their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they, they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Verse 11, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, verse 15, no? As the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is, which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Verse 17, And when they had seen it, they made known abroad, sabi ng Bible, right? they made known abroad the saying, which was told them concerning this child. 18. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which are told them by the shepherd. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in, in heart. Verse 20. And the shepherd returned glory, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Itong mga start na ito at hindi makita po dun sa book of Acts din also. Tingnan po sa Acts chapter 4 beginning, beginning verse number 8 same verse po hanggang sa matapos naman verse 20 Then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost and said unto them Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man 
by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him that this man stand here before you whole. Verse number 11. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Verse 19, jump to, jump to verse 19. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge you. Verse 20, last verse. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Diba yun din yung mga ating nabasa doon sa Luke chapter 2, nung kanda nang makita yung shepherd, nung kanda nang malaman yung yung purpose kung bakit may ipinanganak, hindi isang isang tagapagligtas, sabi ng Bible ay kanila lang talagang ipinahayag yung mga bagay na kanila lang nakita at narinig. So yan ating pag-usapan ngayon mga patid, no? Uh, making Christ known. Maraming po tayo mga patid. Lord, maraming salamat po sa pagkakatong ito. Salamat may ganitong mga lugar na iyong uh, inihanda, Panginoon, yes. upang kami na yung mga anak ng Diyos ay maging uh, beneficiary po ng ganitong mga lugar upang kami po ay makapagtipon uh, sa aming pong ma-practice po yung Hebrews 10.25 na kami po ay uh, waghayaan namin uh, aming mga sarili na hindi makasama po sa mga pagdipon-tipon ng Panginoon. Lord, dalangin namin na kami yung patnabayan ng banal ng Espiritu at kahit po siyang maging uh, tagapagturo namin, maranig po nawa namin, Panginoon, ang tinig, ang yung still small boys, Panginoon, ay pumasok sa aming mga puso at pagkalik po ng changes sa aming buhay, Panginoon, at patuloy ka, Lord, na maluwalhati sa aming pong gaganapin na pag-itipon, Ama, nawa ang iba pong mga patiran o Diyos ay yung ingatan na sila po ay makabahagi po ng aming pong uh, uh, fellowship sa araw na ito, Panginoon Diyos. Salamat mo ng maraming Panginoon. Nawa kayo pong siyang maluwalhati, mga puri, Ama, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. So, making Christ known. Ito po ang ating uh, pag-iusapan, mga kapatid. Okay. Now, nais nice ko kayo yung i-challenge, mga kapatid, from the text. No? I'd like to challenge you from the text of uh, Luke chapter 2 and, and Acts chapter 4 on, 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 on the concept of making Christ known. To establish our faith, and inspire us to live uh, that which was designed by God for us to be. Okay? Alam niyo mga patid, in Christ, tayo po ay uh, uh, inutusan ng Panginoon. In order for us uh, to maintain our foremost desire to give praise and honor God, we must have uh, magkaroon tayo ng uh, isang position sa ating buhay that God must be must be put upon our lives na siya yung una sa lahat mga kapatid should be first upon our lives and that God must be that should people that that people should spot or or see Jesus no uh, in every aspect of our lives kaya dito po sa in this message or study that we are going to study the Lord is the Lord is showing us that this is how okay this is how a Christian ought to conduct his life on earth. Now listen, the Lord wants us to integrate our belief and behavior. He wants us to, to mix our creed and conduct so that people will spot or see God sa, sa ating mga, mga buhay. Lalo higit po yung mga unsaved na mga tao na hindi nila maaring makinala ang Diyos Okay, kung wala talagang magpapakilala sa kanila. At ito po ay uh, nangagaling po sa buhay ng isang taong nagkaroon ng relasyon kay Kristo, nagkaroon ng buhay na kung saan ipinamumuhay yung buhay ng isang 
ng ating tagapagligtas. Our lives make Jesus Christ known more than our words. Alam niyo ba yun? Kaya ating buhay masigit na nagkakaroon ng impact. Masigit na na nakikilalang Panginoon kaysa sa ating mga sinasabi lang. ba? Diba? So, are we not an ambassador for Christ, sabi ng Bible, diba? Na whose primary uh, ministry is to represent Christ and shine for Jesus. Now, when, when we say making Christ known, it means let Jesus shine through us. Minsan, meron tayong mga kata... Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng let, uh, Christ make known? It means that let Christ, let Jesus Christ shine through us. Ano, ano po ba ang sabi doon sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 and 16? Huh? We repent, we, we, you are the light of the world, sabi ng Panginoon. Okay? Uh, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a basket, but on a candlestick, and it gives light to all to all who are in the house. Then he said, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good work, and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So yun po talaga yung great plan ng Diyos sa bawat mga mana ng palataya. Kahit nga lang po sa, sa Old Testament, eh, ang, ang, ang kanyang layunin kung bakit niya pinili ang Israel para ipakilala na meron lamang iisang Diyos at yun ay si Jehovah. At kaya tayo naman ay uh, ililitas ng Panginoon, ginawa tayo ng ilaw ng sanibutan upang yung bundong ito na napakadilim ay magkaroon ng liwanag. Diba sabi doon sa, sa Luke chapter 4 na, na ang pagdating ng ating Panginoon ay nagibigay ng peace, joy at ng, ng light, di ba? Ng liwanag sa buhay ng tao. At tayo mga mana ng prataya, ang sinabi ng Panginoon na tayo yung mga ilaw ng sanibutan. A city that cannot be hid Di ba ang city, pag nakita mo, daming ilaw, parang ang gandang puntahan, di ba? Naka, na, nakahatak siya ng, ano, eh, ng atensyon. Pag talaga meron yung mga isang lugar na puro ilaw, di ba? Yun ang, yun ang pinapakita ng Panginoon, napag ang mana ng plataya ay talagang nagiliwanan. Para tayong syudad na talagang gustong puntahan, gustong marating, gustong na, sapagat may attraction tayo. Nakagawa tayo ng isang bagay na atmosphere ng tao talagang nahali na sila. Diba? Yun ang nangyari sa Book of Acts. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, tatlong libo, apat na libo, ang mga naligtas because naipamuhin nila eh. Yung buhay ng, ng isang liwanag. Diba? Now, how to shine the light of uh, of Christ to the people around us? Sa palagay nyo, paanong, paano po ang ipaliwan o maipaipakita yung liwanag ng Panginoon sa mga tao na kapalibot sa atin? Alam ba na ang, bay, ang tatapon ng Diyos na nagsasabi sa atin na tayo ay ilalagay ng Panginoon sa mundong ito na madilim upang yung ating liwanag, upang ang Diyos mismo ay maramdaman ng tao, makita ng tao, ma- marinig ng tao ang Diyos sa pamagitan ng mga mana ng plataya. Di ba may mga, may mga ilaw o minsan na ano eh, nasa, nasa madilim ka. <clears throat> Depende sa ibibigay na liwanag ng ilaw, di ba? Kung hanggang saan yung naaabot ng liwanag. <coughs> ang, 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 ang punto doon eh, ikaw bilang, bilang isang ilaw, may, may naaabot na kang liwanag na, na dilim na, na naliliwanag. Di ba? Pag sinabi nga, ano ba, ano ba ang darkness? Darkness is the absence of light, di ba? Di ba napakagaling ng Panginoon yung kanyang sinabi na kayo ilaw? Pag ang sa dilim, nagkaroon nagkaroon diyan ng ng liwanag na na nahawi niya yung dilim eh. Di ba nawawala yung dilim. Ganun ka ka kumbaga awesome yung sinasabi ng Panginoon na baka meron tayong influence ng magagawa sa mundo nito. Sa pagkatayo ay mga ilaw na sa mundo. Okay. I offer three three ways. Okay? Uh, to shine the light of Christ to everyone around us so that so that they will see God better. Number one, John chapter 13, 34, 35. Ano sabi ng Bible? A new commandment I gave unto you, that what? 
that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And by this, sabi ng Panginoon, by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So ano yung una? Be loving, kaya be, be loving towards all. Especially toward those who believe. Doon pala una mo napakikita yung, yung liwanag mo. Doon sa mga taong uh, manan ng prataya at mga taong sumasang prataya sa ating Panginoon. Okay? Ikalawa po, paano natin may, may, may papakita po yung liwanag na binigyan ng Panginoon sa atin? Ito yung matagpuan sa po sa 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 13 hanggang 15. At number 2, ating basahin po yung scripture. Who is he who will harm you if you follow that which is good? Meron nga ba naman talaga na pwede ka masaktan kung gumagawa ka ng mabuti? Sabi ni Peter. Who is he who, who will harm you if you follow that which is good? But even if you suffer for the sake of righteousness, you are blessed can you imagine? Sabi niya, if you suffer for the sake of righteousness, you are blessed. You, you are blessed. Then he said, do not be afraid of their terror. Do not be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart. Always be ready to give an answer to every man who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you with gentleness and fear. Ikalawa, do what is good and right even when it hurts. Even when it hurts. Kahit na masakit na nais ng Panginoon talaga na gawin natin yung tama. Kahit na sabihin natin na alam mo, may mga tao talaga unbearable, no? Talagang kala, ipakita mo pa rin yung pagiging kristyano mo, eh. Yung isang, nagkakaroon tayo, na, 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 tayo ng struggle pagka yung ating mga uh, sama sa trabaho, yung mga manager, kung magtalata sa'yo, ganun na lang, kailangan ka inimista ng tabi nila. Kasi pati ko, sasabog ka eh. Pero, basta malagarong gawin mo yung gawin mo yung tama. No? Kahit na masakit na yung mga bagay. Dito sabi ng Panginoon, wala man, wala nang, kahit, wala kang ginagawa masama, pero in return, masama yung ginagawa siya. Sabi niya, you are blessed. Sabi ng sabi ni Peter. Kapalad ka, pinagkapalaan ng Panginoon. Then thirdly, avoid all forms of evil and live under the light of Christ yourself. I will repeat, avoid all forms of evil and live under the light of Christ yourself. Ano sabi sa ano, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 to 12? For you were formerly darkness but now you are light in the Lord. For you were formerly darkness but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, in righteousness and truth, proving what is pleasing to the Lord, and do not have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Instead, expose them. Yun ang sabi ng Bible. Hindi ka dapat na maki makisama. Ba? Iba yung nakikisama sa nakikisama. Di ba? Sabi niya, expose them, for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. So, sa ng Panginoon, tayo ngayon ay ilaw na liwanag na tayo. Lumakad kayo ng may kaliwanagan. Lumakad kayo ng merong kaingatan. Diba? At lumakad kayo ng merong katiyakan. Yun ang buhay ng Kristiyano. May liwanag tayo. Maroon tayo mag-ingat mag at may 